This is Dylan from Rack and Reel. I got Troy with me here. Um, it's the day after Christmas. We had a good day of pheasant hunting today. So we're going to do a video for you on how to clean and prep your pheasants. First thing Dylan's going to do to prepare the pheasant is he's going to cut the head off of the pheasant right at the base of the neck. Best thing to use for this is a good old meat clear. And then after that he's going to take the wings off. You want to try and get in here as close as possible to the breast of the bird. Helps clean uh helps keep the breast clean. The same thing on the other side. Then you want to go and chop the legs off next. Now, the next thing you're going to want to do here, you're going to come right in here where we cut it at the neck. You're going to put your index finger on one side of the neck and your index finger on the other side of the neck and just pull apart. And the skin and the feathers and everything will come right off. It's a lot easier to do this too when the, board, uh, when the bird's warm. These have been sitting for a couple hours. And just keep pulling it off right like that. Then the next thing we're going to do here is cut his tail feathers off. And you could just rub your hand over the bird and just kind of knock as much of the feathers off that are left on it. Yeah. So the next thing we're going to do, we're going to take the guts out of the bird. Um, you don't really have to worry about um, the little little pieces of uh, feathers on here. You can get them off when we're done cleaning everything and gutting it. And you can just take a bucket of water to it and not, uh, or a hose. So we're going to start at the bottom of the breast here and just cut in here. And this piece of skin that connects them to the legs. And we're just going to follow right up the breast here. Do the same thing over here. And then from here you can kind of just pull the breast up. And you just want to start all the way up here at the top of the rib cage with both your fingers. And go all the way in and just pull straight back. And all your guts will come right out. Then you can just take this over your hose or your spigot, get in there good, clean all the blood out of it. There you go. Alright, so here in the next video, we're going to show you guys how to just take the breast out of the bird. Uh, a lot of hunters won't even consume any of the leg meat here or the wings. So the first thing you want to do is pull the uh, wings out as far as possible here, get them stretched out good. You're going to want to come in and step in on the wings as far as you can up on the bone on both sides and you're going to want to just take the feet here and slowly pull not too fast or you'll rip the wings right off and just slowly pull until it comes and right like that it'll pull up and it'll bring all the guts out with it and you can just rip this off of this side like this and just keep going Pull it up, and all you got to do from here is just come up here, take the meat cleaver, cut your wings off, and there you go, you got your breast.
All right, guys, so now we got everything all cleaned up. We took it out back to the spigot and the hose and um, got all the uh, leftover feathers that were on it from when we scun them off. Um, you want to make sure from uh, shooting them with a shotgun, the BB holes in them, you're going to make sure you get in there and dig them apart pretty good because a lot of times it'll take the feathers right in with them. Um, so we soaked them in uh, some water. We're going to put some salt in the water and going to let them sit for about a day or two. And um, we recommend determining your preferences on taste with the salt. The more salt you put in, the less gamey taste it's going to have. Um, we personally, we like to take them and wrap them in bacon and put uh, chunks of butter inside their breast and put them in the oven. Or um, put them in the oven um, and then take them out for the last 10-15 minutes and put them in the smoker. So we're just going to use regular iodized table salt here. Gonna make sure we get a good amount and we don't really like the gamey taste too much. And then um, all we'll do, we'll just let them sit in the fridge, cold water for about two days and then we're gonna vacuum seal them up and they'll be ready to go. Um, thanks for watching. Uh, we'd like to give a shout out to our 2015 sponsors, Sigma Outdoors, the creators of Everscent, Straw Daddy Turkey Calls, and Buck Bar Soaps. You guys can check us out on Instagram at Rack and Real Nation and be sure to subscribe.